Ideally, you use the speech sound picks in the early years, between three and seven year old, seven year olds. It's a scaffolded approach that starts with oral language and phonemic awareness, not phonics. Phonics is an integral part of the approach. However, some children need more phonics than others. At all times, we're starting with the child. So we look at what the child needs. We know what all children need, but we have to look at the individual child to find where their starting point is. So we track progress according to that individual child. Teaching is personalised. It's differentiated teaching so that we can have personalised learning. So at all times, we're thinking, how is this child learning the skills and concepts needed to read and spell? Children don't learn in the same way and at diff the same pace and, and what have you. They don't have the same interests, personalities. And so we start with the child and build around them. Now, I just want to show you a few clips just to show you that the speech sound approach, approach is, has a lot of humour. Not babyishness, humour. And this really appeals to even teenagers. Teenagers have often had 10 years in the system and are still illiterate. So I create stories, poems, songs around the students I'm working with, but they do tend to appeal to all students. Fun, play, self-discovery, inquiry learning is at the very heart of the Speech Sandpix approach and it works for all. Book. So you are the, the second person to read it. Kangaroo, a book about you. We won't tell him that, that page, shall we? We'll just see what happens when he sees it. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Hey, you, kangaroo. There we go. Right, that's in order. We've got to read the book. Oh, it's on there. We've got to read it in a straight face. A straight face? A straight face. Oh, God. What do I get? Okay, here we go. So, what do I do? kangaroo. Let's leave that one. Kangaroo, a book about you. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you gotta do it with a straight face. Hey, you kangaroo, kicking over the there. You, hey, hey you kangaroo, wear your underwear. <laughs> Where's your underwear? Point to it so I can see where you. Juggling, juggling up and down. When having fun, it's hard and frown. To frown, frown. Double, uh, dribble, dribble, do, are uh, not hard at all. Look, I'm playing basketball. Point. If you throw a boomerang, boomerang, then you will quickly learn that, that every time you let it go, it, it will. Magically return. return. Not one, but two. Big kangaroos are jumping up and down. Best jump high. Can you see why? They heading heading for the crown. Straight face. The kangaroo called Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Poo. Mrs. Roo. Oh, the Roo. Kanga yeah, the kangaroo called Mrs. Roo. And a <laughs> poo. <laughs> Start again, come on, straight face. The kangaroo called Mrs. Roo had a poo when she <laughs> at the zoo. Don't feel blue. I did want to. <laughs> Said Mrs. Cow, and then yelled, "Moo!" <laughs> Come on, you've got to read it. You've got to read it without. David. <laughs> Come on, you've got to read it without smiling. The kangaroo. <laughs> Read it out loud, Prince. Read it out loud. I did it. I did it. I don't want everybody to hear. I I read it. The kangaroo. The kangaroo called Mrs. Woo had a had a poo and I just don't feel blue. I did one two two said Missy Cow.
and then yelled, Moo! <laughs> <laughs> We haven't got someone to do it with a straight face yet. Who can do it with a straight face? Maddie, oh, can. Maddie can. Maddie can. Okay, you ready? With a straight face. This one? Yes. The kangaroo called Mr. Gru had a poo. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do it with a straight face. You're not Straight face. Smile. Straight face. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on. Mr. Kangaroo called Gru had a poo when... Oh, when at the zoo, doesn't feel blue. I did know. Oh, I did one, two. Said Missy cow, and then yelled, yelled moo. <laughs> My silly poems that I do. I said this one. They've got to do it with a straight face. A kangaroo. Cool. Called Mrs. Wu. Had a <laughs> poo <laughs> when at the zoo. Don't feel blue. I did one two. <laughs> said Miss Cow. Missy Cow. And then he yelled. Yelled me. Have a look. A kangaroo called Mrs. Roo had a, a poo <laughs> at when, when at, at the, the zoo. zoo. Don't, Don't feel blue. I, I did, did one, one, two, two. <laughs> said, said Mrs. Mrs. Cow. Cow. And then, yeah, moo. <laughs> the the gentle, gentle giant, giant giggled. giggled. <laughs> he, he, he. Now, now puppies, puppies have it. <laughs> the last student that you just saw absolutely loved this poem and then ended up reading it over and over again and I just love it. That's what we want. It's not just about teaching children to read and spell of any age, teenagers included and adults included. It's about giving them a sense of accomplishment and it's also about exciting them about literacy. Most of these kids have never been excited about reading and that's what we need to change as well as helping them to become functionally literate. Now most of these kids would have needed to start at the SSP Orange level where there's no print included at all. It's all phonemic awareness and in actual fact think of your students. If they can't do what's on this list they're not really ready for phonics or for print. Explicit or otherwise. Explicit phonics teaching means nothing without good phonemic awareness.